Hi, Doug Binks here, and I'm going to be giving you another tutorial on using the Avoid Game Editor to make voxel things. So today we're going to be talking about the brush. Basically the brush here, file load brush, enables you to paste in objects that you've already made. So you can uh, make objects in, in a way you can think of them as a brush or a template, and then you can load those in as a brush and then you can paste them into the world. So that's what I'm going to be demonstrating today. So go to the file menu, load your brush, and in this case I'm going to be choosing a little uh, spaceship that was made by Voxel Dailies, made for Voxel Dailies by us. And if I open that up uh, and then I select paste, here you can see the spaceship. And you can move that around and position it where you want to, and then either press F to put it into the world if you're using the anchor mode, or you can do paste. Alternatively, if you don't have the anchor on, you can use the scroll wheel to move it backwards and forwards. You can, for instance, uh, use glide so that your mouse cursor will give you a position on something. It's where you hover the mouse. That's why you can see the flickering as I go over um, open points in the world. And that will intersect the cube with the point that your mouse is over. So here I can, for example, stick one there and another one there, building up quite quickly. You can also change the orientation using the rotation of the object. So I'm going to just lock the anchor in so that we can see this more clearly. I'm going to bring that up somewhere over here. And then the red axis is our x-axis, R. Green axis is our y-axis, G. Um, blue axis is the z-axis. B, so RGB giving us the, the three axes here. So I'm going to rotate it, for example, around this X axis. Now we have it uh, standing up. And then I could, for example, try and get it intersecting with this part of the world. So that's easiest if I turn the anchor off. And there I can stick another couple of them over there. You can also use reflection. So bring the anchor back on again so we can see what's going on. And then flying down around to the object. I can then basically very, very quickly reflect it around the Y, so now it's going in the opposite direction. Okay, so that's showing you how to use the load brush if you've got a void object built. But let's say, for example, you want to use something else. You want to use um, objects that have been made by other people, say with Magic of Voxel, or even worlds from Minecraft. So let's demonstrate that. So I've got a, um, a file that I uh, have been making up uh, using Mike judges, Mike loves robots on Twitter and GitHub's um, material, and he has a, a lot of them available. There should be a link in the YouTube video below, and they're Creative Commons Attribution for International Licensed. So I'm not going to save the changes to this, and I'm going to use the right click menu, move camera here to get down onto the floor. So here we have some voxel houses and voxel people, and then there's a space invasion that I placed in the rear. So I'm going to show you how I did this. It's a fairly simple uh, model I put together. And again, this is using square blocks. Avoid is able to do smoother style, but low poly still voxel blocks. Um, but, uh, but here, magical voxel blocks are usually these uh, square ones. So again, I'm going to use load brush. But here I'm going to use the browse mode. And I've already navigated my way from documents into um, voxel models folder that I use personally for storing all my voxel models, and then into the magical voxel models folder where I've dumped all of the voxels from Mike Loves Robots. And uh, there's a, a lot of characters here available that you can grab. So, for example, uh, let's say there's, we want to have a cop because he's going to be defending these people over here get pace mode again. I'm just going to turn the anchor off um, and I'm going to have to rotate him as he's lying down on the floor at the moment. Uh, ah, that's because it's preserving the rotation mode we had from before. So I'm going to reset my pace transform right now. He's not lying down on the floor. He is, however, facing the wrong direction. So to fix that, again, Y is our up direction. So if I rotate him around, okay. Actually, this might be, is this a girl or a boy? Cop. I can't really tell. Not that it matters here. So um, this cop's going to be trying to defend the uh, 
people in the pool. So let's place them down. And uh, there we go. Maybe two or three of them. Maybe more than two or three of them. So then I can go back, load the brush. Again, I'm afraid I have to browse. We'll try and make that easier. Grab another cop. And in we go. We have a few cops here defending the world versus the aliens. Now, the aliens were again brought in using load brush. And my browse here. You can probably find alien bots, alien crawl. So let's try, try this one, alien crawl two. What is that? Ah, oh, it's alien scrawl actually. So that's maybe not as useful as I'd like. So load brush, browse again. Um, and let's put in some sources. So source 3C. I'm going to use the anchor tool to do this. And, and we can paste that in there, bring it up. I'm using F to paste here, but again, you could use this or F. And there's another. And one more. And again, I could rotate these into whatever direction I wanted to get the, the correct orientation. So this lift here was built by basically just loading the brush for the alien lift. I have to go into browse, sorry. So you can find it, there we go, alien lift. And I'm going to use anchor mode, but basically I'm going to move the anchor to, let's put it underneath this one. Right click on that, sorry, right click on that. Move the anchor here, so there's our anchor. And then we can position this so that the lift is coming out of that object. And then just, I'm using F, pull it down one by one. I realize that this lift is taking people backwards, but that's all right for this demonstration. We really should rotate it around. There we go. Okay, so maybe this is a special lift. And now it's brought somebody in, or rather we'll want them to bring somebody in. So let's load brush again and see if there's NG2C. I wonder if that's something, someone handy. Yeah, this is a nice looking engineer. Slot that engineer in here. I wonder whether we're clipping off his legs or its legs, sorry. No, no, that's good. So down on screen, don't have to be exact. So it will lock itself in to the voxel grid. So there we've got one. Um, I'm gonna take off anchor, maybe put a, a few engineers around in the distance. Okay, so that's basic use of the load brush tool, uh, demonstrating that for um, voxel files and also the avoid files, but you can also use it for Minecraft files. So let's say we wanted to uh, load a brush and I'm gonna browse again, and I'm gonna go back to my voxel mods directory, all the way to Minecraft maps. And let's bring in the, uh, well, I think uh, Sylvan's, Sylvan's quite large, so let's just bring the Dread Fort. Um, ah, now, if, you, if I go back, it'll be a lot easier if you select Minecraft. If you don't select Minecraft, you have to navigate to a region file and load that. If you select Minecraft, it'll automatically tell once you're in a Minecraft directory that that's what you want to load. So again, I will load Linterfell. It takes a little longer to load a Minecraft map. So here we have a, a Minecraft map. I'm gonna set anchor on so I can move it around more easily. And these are built to a, a different voxel scale. The, uh, the models for Silverton are uh, built with uh, many, many voxels per person. Sorry, not the models from Michael of Robots are built for many voxels per person, whereas this is uh, uh, two or three voxels would be uh, the width of a street. And then we can press F, paste that in there. That takes a, a second or so. And uh, if I remove the edit window, then you can see the whole, the whole thing. So edit, uh, copy and paste does work with large objects. You can bring in entire worlds and, and paste them in with load brush. Um, or you can bring in small models and paste them around. 
quickly and conveniently. And uh, one fun thing to do, so I'm going to bring up the menu again, so view edit tools to bring up that menu. I'm going to load a small brush this time, uh, for example, uh, one of the alien infected. So this is in voxel models, magic voxels, uh, alien bot, let's say. And I'm going to turn off my anchor because I'm going to want to quickly paste them around. You just put a couple here. Uh, and now I'm going to go into continuous mode. So this is <laughs> not always brilliant. So forgive me if we don't get uh, a, a, a brilliant thing from this, but continuously pasting can be a really fun way to create lots and lots of stuff. It's more useful with vegetation, etc. But but let's try it with, uh, with these robots. Okay, so what you'll see is because I had collision on, when I was pacing them, they collided with themselves and we ended up with them uh, going up into the air. So let's uh, use Control Z, which gets rid of about a second's worth of uh, what we've done. By the way, that's all in the options, the number of seconds, continuous undo time there, 0.3 seconds it's set to at the moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in a constraint and the constraint is going to be a constraining plane. Um, so let's bring one in and we want it to be aligned with Y. And then we need to basically bring its position up. And to do that, one way thing you can do is you can press P and it brings it up to where your current uh, collision point is. So that's brought it, I think, yeah, it's right on top of where we want. So we can turn collide off and there we're basically just going to be on that plane. The plane moves with you, by the way, as you move around. So although it looks small, it's actually across the entire of the universe. So now we can basically push those in and they won't collide with themselves and start growing up. And you can write with robots. Like after all does love robots. A few columns of them, centipedes even as you will. Again, that's much more useful with um, uh, vegetation. Uh, something I'd like to try in, in future is have the rate settable so that you can have it when you uh, do paste things around, you get uh, maybe one every uh, 50th of a second or something like that. Here it's just doing it at the frame rate that you've uh, you've got, which could be quite high. Okay, so uh, that's it for this tutorial. And uh, do download in Void and have fun and ask if you've got any questions about how you can make things in a Void or load things in a Void and uh, enjoy.